California National Guard uh, Joint Task Force Domestic Support Counter Drug provides professional cost-effective uh, military support to law enforcement and community-based organizations. The missions that we do in Counter Drug, we try to make them as similar as possible to their warfighting training and skill sets. So unlike traditional guardsmen who drill one weekend a month, uh, an annual training two weeks a year, uh, the soldiers and airmen within the California National Guard Joint Task Force Domestic Support Counter Drug are able to use those skills 365 days a year um, and ultimately not only are they providing a real world mission support uh, in making California safer, they are coming back to their units as better soldiers and airmen for the state of California missions. We focus on two aspects of the drug problem. We focus on combating the supply of illegal drugs and on reducing the demand for those drugs. On the supply side, we provide assets such as, uh, say, an intel analyst or a military resource like a helicopter such as OH-58s or H-860s. It's critical because a lot of the narcotics that are coming into our country are coming across the borders, you know, um, via aircraft or via vehicles that are tracked from the air. And that information, the intelligence information is, is valuable to us because it provides um, the information that is relayed back to the deputies that are on the ground that are going to have to make the arrests. Last year, Counter Drug flew over 2,500 hours of rotary and fixed wing aviation support to law enforcement agencies and community based organizations. We provided this support to help with their disruption of illegal drug production and distribution and to help community based organizations with their drug demand reduction and education programs. On the demand reduction side, we work with schools, we work with civic organizations, we work with community groups to provide uh, assistance in when they want to build a coalition. Uh, we also provide instruction and examples to provide kids the skill sets to make healthy, drug-free life choices. Counter Drug is a force multiplier for law enforcement agencies and coalition partners statewide. Some of the lessons that we, we teach these kids they don't just stay in the classroom, they go out into the community, in the sports events, in, in the churches, wherever these kids go, those, those skills that they get go with them. They don't just leave them in the classroom. So in a, in a sense, we're affecting the whole community by talking to these kids. And that is going to, in the long run, promote positive change within the community. Counter Drug is honored to work with multiple coalitions and community-based organizations statewide and has earned numerous awards and accolades but it's not the plaques or certificates that keep these men or women serving in their communities. Guardsmen tend to work and live in the same community that they've been in for years and years and years, and so they're a part of that community, in addition to being a part of the military and a part of the Guard. Um, so when a Guardsman is brought in to do a mission in a particular community, if that's the community in which he lives, then they get a certain sense of fulfillment or satisfaction from that. Um, a lot of guardsmen who have served time overseas in Iraq or Afghanistan, when they come back to do this, it has a special meaning to them because they're doing something on their own home soil. Pretty much anywhere throughout the state, we can provide support. National Guard's been a big partner uh, for several years with us in terms of our, pre our prevention programs, and it's nice to still have agencies that can still pull together and, and make these things happen so they don't disappear, because they disappear at the local level. And it's nice that at least big agencies, state agencies, federal agencies, and the local ones working together um, to spread the awareness, to educate not only the children, but parents and, and communities as well. But it all comes from the individuals within our program. It's a self-motivation. They do it because they want to. They either have a connection to someone in their family that was negatively affected by drugs, or the fact that they see what it's doing to their communities and they want to be in this program, they want to come here and they want to help make a difference.